The Art of Steampunk Volume 2 playing cards. Tuck box is going to be pretty simple from both the front and the back are going to be almost identical. And I'll get more into what this design is because it is the back design. The one side says The Art of Steampunk Volume 2 and AristoPlayingCards.com. And the other side is the exact same. The bottom has USPC ad copy. The top says The Art of Steampunk and you do get a custom Kickstarter tuck seal. The inside tuck flaps are blank and so is the inside of the tuck box. So since that's all I can say for the tuck box, let's take a look at the cards. This is an absolutely beautiful and super clean back design, but unfortunately that is one of the problems. So you do get a bunch of gears in here all done in either gold or brownish colors, a extremely thick white border, which I was not prepared for it to be this thick, even on the V2s, because the V1s are that thick, but I was expecting it to be probably thinned a little bit, even just down to a medium-sized border, but that did not change at all. The only other thing I have to say about this deck is I wish it would have been less clean, because when I think steampunk, I don't think super all nice and oiled and well put together. I think it's a little bit rustic, and this design is honestly so well done that it almost takes away from it a little bit. But truth be told, it is still one of my favorite back designs when it comes to this type of deck. The number cards, you're going to have the two values in the corners and actually in the center of the design. You'll still have the two pips and the center design here with the twos and the threes and everything else is the same ones that's on the V1s. So you'd only have the five here and you wouldn't have the five spade pips. So I'm just going to go through a few of these because they actually start repeating right after number 10. So this two and this two is going to be the same except for the fact that the pip right here changed. The only th other thing that I'm not quite as big of a fan of is that they did change a few of the th things with the location and the placement, so like the 7 is now here like this, the 8 is here like this, 9 stayed the same, 10 then changed, and the 2 changed as well. So for the most part though with these decks, I'm still a big fan of them, and I do like how they took all of the stuff from the V1s and made it, and like just made it a little smaller, and I don't know how they kept all the detail in that as well. So still super cool, but not my favorite number cards ever, but I still definitely like them. You get semi-duplicate jokers, one in red and one in blue, and this is definitely much more of what I think of when I think steampunk. You have your three aces, which are much more clean now that they have the gold in them, and once again, this ace of hearts happens to be my favorite. And now onto the court cards, which is the primetime real estate of this deck of playing cards. When you think of steampunk, this is exactly, exactly what I think of. It could not have been any more perfect. I wouldn't have put it in black and white. I like the color with it. Everything is literally perfect when it comes to this deck of court cards. It's literally, I honestly don't even know what to say at this point because of this deck of court cards it is so well done. Your two ad cards are a Kickstarter card and a QR code which sends you straight to a wrist of playing cards website. And last but not least, your ace of spades, which does look really good now that it has the gold. The next thing you wanna know is if this deck can pharaoh and from bottom to top, there's literally no issues. Then from top to bottom, you'll see that there is no issues there either. The next thing you want to know is the stock and feel of this deck of playing cards. So it is printed on a thicker stock. USPCC only has two stocks. It has the classic and the premium, and it is on the premium stock. So it is going to be thicker, and this deck is going to be right in the middle in between buttery and snappy. Buttery decks are more used for things like under pressure, which is going to be easier for your hands this way, and snappy decks are much better for things like backdrop. Both of these moves can also be learned here on the channel, link in the description below. If you're still wondering if you should pick up this deck of playing cards though, let me give you a few factors which could weigh your decision one way or the other. First of all, this deck is actually going to be 10% off for the next month or so using code Elijah Myers, but again, it's only for the next month or so, so if you're going to pick them up, make sure to do it now, and I'll leave everything you need to know with that in the description. The next thing is it depends on what kind of person you are. If you're a magician, I probably wouldn't be picking this deck up, mostly just because of the court cards and how overly customized both they are and the number cards. Technically, I think you could push it and maybe get it there, but I probably wouldn't go there. Next is for cardistry. Once again, this isn't going to be a deck for you. No explanation needed. Next is for collectors, and I think this is exactly where it hits home. One, Arista Playing Cards has made a bunch of decks, this being the Volume 2, so obviously there's a first edition. So if you're trying to collect that series or the Arista Playing Cards series from everything they've produced, that would be one way to do it. If you like steampunk playing cards or just collector's decks that are going to look great on a shelf like that, all of these factors mean this is going to be a deck that you could pick up as a collector. Now that is not for the extreme collectors because extreme collectors like things that are either extremely rare or extremely expensive and this isn't extremely rare nor expensive. If you want to play card games, technically speaking I think you could play card games with it because all of the values and the indices are all legible and you can read them all 
when they're all in your hand like this. But at the same time, I'm probably not going to be one to let my friends play with this deck of cards because I like it too much. And lastly, is this a hype deck? Heck no. So once again, if you want to pick up this deck of playing cards right here, I would highly recommend it and you get it for 10% off for the next month or so. And if you haven't seen the review of the V1s, I would definitely recommend it and you can check it out right up here in just a second. And the V Twin playing cards, another deck by Rist of playing cards, are coming next week. And for more bonus content, just like voting on all the deck reviews for the next month, every single month, and much more, make sure to check out Patreon, which will be linked in the description below. But if you just want to watch all the review videos here and everything else I have to offer, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.